Hi folks, Tim here again from High and Cheap Tech. I'm going to talk to you today about why we invest too much in our technology. Right after the intro, coming up right now, we're going to discuss some common sense. Be right back. by the Empow Remote. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, so when I say invest too much, I'm not talking money. We attach too much value to our tech Versus our appearance to the rest of the world. Just because all your friends have an iPhone and are well, somewhat suspect for buying said thing. Uh, doesn't mean you need one. Just because some tech reviewer tells you. You need these low-light cameras. Excuse me, I'll take a sip of Diet Coke. I'm trying to wake up. I slept very good last night, by the way. And, uh, you are not your phone. You are not the screen. If the screen works for you, yay! Put it in the IPS. Get over it. Does it work? Uh huh. Now I have a Mi A2 and I constantly talk about it. So I'm guilty too. I purchased it at a relatively inexpensive price, which is what we promote here budget devices. Whether it be a laptop, desktop, a monitor, whatever. You are not your tech. Your tech is a, you know, a chunk of, probably half a ton plastic, and a case maybe, and a pretty glass back. And, of course, a lot of people are enamored with that. Oh, it's so pretty. Folks, get over it. No one gives a damn. Who has any thing between these two ears? That's where your brain is. Yeah. So... Yeah, some of them have better mics. Some of them have better cameras. Is the Mi A2 my favorite phone? Hell no. The Mobile G3 is. It just fits perfectly in the hand. Unfortunately, it has too many downsides as far as the stock mic is horrible. And... Having to use a lovelier mic that worked to record videos, I just shoot my work stuff on this phone with the stock mic. Works fantastic. Sure picks up wind nice. So does a lavalier mic. So, quit worrying. About appearances. Quit keeping up with the Joneses down the block. Screw them. You get something that works. Show them. I mean, when I was a lot younger, I rode, well, wasn't a lot younger. I rode motorcycles. I raced motorcycles. And 
I? Idiots and cars would be like, oh, you got a little 750 there. It's like, yeah, and your Mustang is a slow-ass piece of shit. The bike was fast. I wasn't. Any idiot could do this. That was my street bike we're talking about. I drove much faster motorcycles on the racetrack. Much faster. Most people don't even know the difference between torque and horsepower. <laughs> Look it up if you don't know. I'm not going to explain it. This isn't my bike site. Which I don't run anymore because I don't ride anymore. <sighs> I always thought I'd die on a bike. No matter how hard I tried, you'd be stupid out there. I just passed people. On the track. A few street accidents, but mostly nine at over 100 miles an hour on a racetrack. Oh! Yeah, not good, but if you wear all the safety equipment, you can get up and you go, I'm good. I'm good. And you look at the bike and it's toast. But, don't base your life I'm trying to keep up with what the idiot tech reviewers are telling you. Oh, who cares about top bezels? I don't. <coughs> <coughs> it should be bezel-less. Wrong. Not if I gotta put up with a notch or teardrop or a hole in the screen. One question you must ask yourself. You, the guy watching you, would you tolerate that on your brand new 55 inch LG OLED TV? Arguably, yeah, one of the better TV or a Samsung, whatever. Oh, there's a hole in the display over here. Or, I'd say over. Yeah, I'd be over here. Ah. Because everything's bass backwards when you're recording. No! You'd be like, hell no, I ain't buying that piece of crap. There's a hole in the screen. I can't tolerate that. But... Yet, because the reviewers feed you this crap, but, oh, you get used to it, yeah. I have a ZTE Axon M, which I've talked about. Still one of the better budget phones you can buy for the price, if you can handle all the, what do you call them, uh, accidental touches. You got crap opening all the time, or the screen going, Can we change wallpapers? No. I didn't mean to do that. Because there ain't no damn way to put a case on it to keep your hand away from it. And yeah, it's got a seam right down the middle. But for under 200 bucks, click it open, and you get as big a display as the new Samsung Galaxy Fold, but it's not OLED, can you see it, 
Are you hearing me? Are the serious speakers working? Oh yeah? Okay, so get your head out of your ass. Start thinking. Quit letting reviewers tell you we don't do this in 2019. Top bezels are out. I can't wait till the Pixel 4 drops. It will. And people with brains will like it. Sure, it won't sell that well because uh, except for the people who get a free one, go send me one. I'll promote the crap out of it. Obviously, Google isn't listening to me. But If you base your life on your car or the color of paint on your house or how short your lawn is, you're investing way too much in appearances over life. Go live your life. Screw the other guys. Screw your neighbors. Do what you want. Buy what you can afford. Don't buy stuff. Just to keep up with the Joneses. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Click.